during the fall of the year, of course, is the time when we wean the calves, but it's also a time when we'll decide which cows are going to be culled and uh, not kept around for another year. One of the things that I think we should include in our culling criteria is utter soundness. And especially in those herds where uh, forage uh, quantity may be low again this year and we need to cull just a little bit deeper, let's take a look at the udders of these cows to see which ones may have had some problems in the past and therefore are, are affecting the milk producing capability of that cow. Research here at Oklahoma State uh, for uh, several years gave us some surprising results, I thought, in terms of the incidence of mastitis, and that's the disease that occurs in the, in the udder of, of beef or dairy cows that causes those udders to be non-productive. The incidence was in some cases in the 17 to 13 uh, percent range of the cows that had clinical mastitis, but in one study it got as high as 37 percent. What did that mean? Well, the uh, final proof of the pudding came in terms of the impact it had on weaning weights of the calves. Those cows that were affected in either one or two quarters, they produced in the neighborhood of 12 to as low as 9.6 percent less weaning weight uh, because of the, the loss of milk production. In today's market, that's 50 to 60 pounds less calf that we have available to wean and certainly that means a lot of dollars at weaning time. So let's think about this as we're watching these cows as they go through the chute this fall, watch for those that may have that very large funnel shaped teat or those cows that have lost the strength of that suspensatory ligament that holds the udder up next to the body. In either case, those situations make it very difficult for her newborn baby to find that teat in time to get the colostrum that he or she needs for disease protection and probably means that they're just not going to produce as much milk for that calf all through his, his growth phase. Let's watch for these cows very closely as they go through the chute, cull those that have those bad udders, and it'll help our herd in the long run. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.